That making sure that people who are not allowed to have a gun don't get the gun in the first place. And again, for any of the press, any of the press listening, this doesn't violate anybody's Second Amendment right. There's no violation of a Second Amendment right. We talk like there's no amendment that's absolute. When the amendment was passed, it didn't say anybody can own a gun and any kind of gun and any kind of weapon. You couldn't buy a cannon and when the, this, this, uh, amendment was passed, and so no reason why you should be able to buy certain assault weapons, but that's another issue. Uh, thanks. Uh, okay, well, that's a, quite a mouthful there. Um, so you said actions such as these suggest otherwise, suggest meaning they, they suggest they're not interested in talks and they're going to go ahead with some kind of a, what action are you talking about? One, the actions I've just pointed to, uh, the, fact, action the, the fact that Russia continues to engage uh, in disinformation well, uh, campaigns. You, know, you made an allegation that they might do that. Have they actually done it? Uh, what we know, Matt, is what we what I have just said, that they have engaged in this activity. Uh, well, in this planning well, activity. On, but, activity, but let me let me because because obviously this is not this is not the first time we've made uh, these reports public. You'll remember that just a few well, weeks I, ago. I'm sorry, you, made, made, made what report public? If you'll let me finish, I will okay. tell you what report we made okay. public. Uh, we told you a few weeks ago that we have information indicating Russia also has already prepositioned a group of operatives to conduct a false flag operation in eastern Ukraine. So that, Matt, to your question, is an action that Russia has already well, taken. It's an action that you say that they have taken, but you have shown no evidence to, 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 to confirm that. And I'm going to get to the next question here, which is, what is the evidence that they, I mean, this is like crisis actors, really? This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. Um, what evidence do you have to support the idea that there is some propaganda film in the, in, in the making? Matt, this is derived uh, from information known to the U.S. government, intelligence information that we have declassified. I think you well, know. Okay, well, where, where is it? Where, where is this information? It is intelligence information that we have declassified. Well, where is it? Where is the declassified information? I just delivered it. But, no, you made a series of allegations and would statements. You, would you like us to print it out the topper? Because you will see a transcript of this briefing that you can print out for but yourself. That's not evidence, Ned. That's you saying it. That's not evidence. I'm sorry. What would you like, Matt? I, I would like to see some proof that you that 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 that, that you can show that that Matt, you have that, been that, that shows you, that 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 you, shows that the Russians are doing this. Ned, I've been doing this for. a I long know that time. was my point. As, you you as have you, know. you you have been doing this for quite a while. You know I that have. when we declassify intelligence That's information, right. and I we do so in, in a means in Iraq, we do so I, and, we do so with an eye to that, protecting that sources Kabul and methods. Is not going to fall. I, I remember a lot of things. So where, where, where is the declassified information other than you coming out here and saying? Matt, I'm sorry you don't like the format, uh, but we have declassified. It's not the format, it's the content. I'm it's, sorry you don't like the content. I'm sorry you, I'm sorry like you are doubting the information that is in the possession of the U.S. government. No, I, I, what I'm telling you is that this is information that's available to us. We are making it available to you uh, in order uh, for a couple reasons. One is to attempt to deter the Russians from going ahead with this activity. Two, in the event we're not able to do that, in the event the Russians do go ahead with this, to make it clear as day, to lay bare the fact that this has always been an attempt on the part of the Russian Federation to fabricate a pretext. Yeah, but you don't have any, any evidence to back it up other than what you're saying. It's like you're saying, we think we, we, we have information that the Russians may do this. But you won't tell us what the information well, is. That, and then when, when, that, when you're that, asked... That, that is the idea behind when, deterrence, Matt. When, that is the when, idea when behind asked, deterrence. And when it is asked, our hope that the Russians don't go forward with this. when you're asked what the information this, is, you say, I just gave it to you. 
But that, that's not what you you seem not to not understand. You seem not to no, understand no, no, the man, idea of deterrence. Understand. We are you trying to not deter to the, the Russians of... from moving forward with this type of activity. That is why we are making it public today. If the Russians don't go forward with this, that is not uh, ipso facto an indication that they never had plans to do so. Uh, but, but then it's unprovable. <laughs> I mean, my God, what is the evidence that you have that suggests that that, that the Russians are even planning this? Matt, you, I mean, I'm not you, saying that they're not. But you just come out and say this and expect us just to, to, to believe it without you showing a shred of evidence that it's actually true. Other than when I ask, or when anyone else asks, what's the information? You said, well, I just gave it to you, which was just you making a statement. Matt, you said yourself, you've been in this business for quite a long time. You know that when we make information, uh, intelligence information public, we do so uh, in, a, in a way that protects sensitive sources and methods. You also know that we do so, we declassify information only when we're confident in that information. Yeah, you if you doubt, if you doubt the, the credibility of the US government, of the British government, uh, of other governments, and want to uh, you know, find uh, solace in information that uh, the solace? Russians are putting out, uh, that is uh, that is for wanna, you to do. I'm not asking what, what the Russian government is putting out. And, and what, John, do you mean, what is it supposed to be? As you heard Secretary Austin address just last Friday in his remarks uh, with the chairman here in the briefing room, we remain focused on the evolving situation in Europe and Russia's actions on the Ukrainian border and in Belarus. As the Secretary said, the United States stands shoulder to shoulder with our NATO allies. The current situation demands that we reinforce the deterrent and defensive posture on NATO's eastern flank. President Biden has been clear that the United States will respond to the growing threat to Europe's security and stability. Our commitment to NATO, Article 5, and collective defense remains ironclad. As part of this commitment, and to be prepared for a range of contingencies, the United States will soon move additional forces to Romania, Poland, and Germany. I want to be very clear about something. These are not permanent moves. They are moves designed to respond to the current security environment. Moreover, these forces are not going to fight in Ukraine. They are going to ensure the robust defense of our NATO allies. Now, let me lay this out for you in a series of three steps. First, I just want to counteract that. I actually pulled my daughter out of AM Culp because of the fifth grade teacher who lined those students up from whitest to darkest, made them turn around, and the white ones need to apologize to the black ones. Now, do not tell me that it did not happen, okay, in this district. You need to put an end to this. Kids do not see color, and you are segregating them, and you are separating them. This is not okay. Do something or get out of those damn chairs. When it comes to the honesty issue, this board has repeatedly denied an activity that has taken place at AM Culp Elementary. Just the last action meeting, we were actually attacked by Dr. G, who referred to Fox News about an event that happened. Fox News didn't tell me that the event happened at AM Culp Elementary. The activity I'm talking about is known as a privilege walk. It happened in the courtyard at AM Culp Elementary, not once, but four times. A teacher who had a professional courtesy, I won't say her name, lined the students up on the wall, asked them to step forward if their parents were married, step forward if their parents were uh, college educated, step forward if they own a cell phone or an iPhone, step forward if their skin color resembled one of a Band-Aid, step forward if they had an in-ground pool. Now this teacher um, carried out this event, and I know it happened because 
One father told me at the top of my driveway. Four parents told me over the phone. I sat in the driveway and a mother and father told me the story that happened to their daughter last year. And just Thursday, I sat in the living room and listened to the story verbatim, word for word, the same questions. But she also added at one point when she asked about the Band-Aid with a mini megaphone, the teacher told the student to get back on the wall because her parents were from India. That happened. There are no versions of the truth, Mrs. Stoll. You emphatically said that didn't happen five times. It did happen, but yet you still deny that it happened. We have filed the right to know for it. We did it in July. We're still waiting for the results on that because it keeps getting kicked down the can because you know you can run out the clock on the issue. My name is Naya Okami. I am the local werewolf girl. I go, Aah! Hello, TikTok. My name is Naya Okami, and on all levels except physical, I am a wolf.